so excited. I had said that I've been looking forward to this interview since last year when I had said we need to get her on the show. Who am I talking about? Well, I am now talking about one of our most celebrated thespians in the industry. She kicked off her career back in 2008 with the film Unseen, Unsung, Unforgotten. And after that, she became a household name because her career just took off. From the local and international stages, Mumbi Maina has managed to carve a name for herself by being one of the best actresses I genuinely think I have ever met. And I'm so happy she came on our show. <laughs> She's going to be, she actually is already a part of the Matrix Resurrection, which is a huge big deal. If you grew up watching the Matrix, then you know, like this is really big. Moombi, welcome to the trend. Thank you. Oh, I'm just seeing you smiling. I'm not lying. <laughs> you're not. I'm, you're I'm not, not lying. You're just being very kind. <laughs> yeah, no, and honest. And, and honest. honest. <laughs> and we were talking you. about this right before we started the interview that, you know, you started a while ago yeah. and Every other year, you you know you feel like you know what sister say what on anidua, munani tambua, and then you're like oh we're back to the drawing board. But this is this is a huge deal. It is. Before we even start talking about the movie, yeah. it's uh, it's been a couple of years since you've been in the game. Yeah. Um, how has it been? You know what? I, it's been a whirlwind. I'm just still taking it all in to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So I think your big break was in Mali. Yeah, 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 definitely. Oh, definitely. so how, how did you get on Mali? Did you actually go for the audition? Went for did the auditions and they were gruesome. They were grueling. They were long. They were maybe for like a month long. <laughs> so a month long? It. Yeah. Don't you yeah. just get their role? What do you mean? No, you know, they'll, they'll cast and then they'll cast again and they'll give you many callbacks and then there's pairing whether you know you fit in with other people and other characters so it was a very long process but wow but okay so that's so different from tv like you, you get the gig you get the gig <laughs> yeah, i know you get the call you know it's done this is it <laughs> this is it so for film it's different it's different for soap specifically actually i guess because it's a very long running um you know show and yeah 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 so they have to do like different things to make sure that you're the right fit yeah for the there's role. a lot also chemistry as well because sometimes you may be really great but then you just don't pair up well with another actor and you have very many scenes with them so they have to make sure that you get that as well yeah yeah which one do you think has been your most challenging role to play oh gosh and why <laughs> also <laughs> you know it's an interesting question so i feel like every role that i've played has been challenging which is sort of the reason that I want to have that role. Because oh. as an artist, I think you always want to grow. Yes. You know, and you always want to stretch. Yes. Yeah, so I think everything has been so different for me. But um, I think what I like is the ability to grow. Mm. Yeah. And just, you know, see yourself become this person you didn't even think you could be because you keep yeah. pushing yourself. Yeah. 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 Which one has, like, been the darkest one. I remember, you Ooh. know, we had guys who had done horror and they said, you know, they have to like go to this really dark place yeah. to bring that character out of them. Did yeah. you ever have to do that for any of your roles? Unfortunately, many. <laughs> many? <laughs> yeah. No. Even on Mali, I mean, my character was very controversial. I mean, she, she did a lot of So it's very different things. from who Mumbi is. You know what? Yeah. I, I've, um, as I'm growing in my career, I'm starting to learn that maybe in as much as it may seem like it's different, I think that there are aspects to us and our human nature that we tend to just not deal with and mm -hmm. dwell on. Mm -hmm. And acting gives you the opportunity to go there. You know, like if you're not a violent person, for instance, and you play a violent character, it's not <laughs> for it to seem believable. Yeah. You sort of have to go to a certain place that you not ordinarily go. You were not raised that way. You no. don't have certain traumas. You're not like that <sighs> at all. Acting takes you to that place either way. Yeah. yeah. So do, did you have to study at some point? Did you go to school for it? Did you, you know? Everything that I've learned, I've learned on set. Yeah. Oh, School of Hard Knocks. Yep. You're one of those. Yep. Many buckets in my fire. <laughs> Every time. And so, Thrown in the deep end. <laughs> and so when they ask you, you're like, yeah, I can do it. I, of course, I could. They want me to be the mother. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Easy. Like, I, I <laughs> no. could do that. No, I've been very blessed with really good directors and a lot of cast members as well who've been really open and have been so gracious and helped me along the way. Yeah. Yeah. Who are some of those people that you can mention? But it's wow. directors, fellow actors. You actors. know what? Um, the first person for sure is Mona Mboga. She's a writer and director, and she's the one who discovered me. She's the one who forced me into acting, you'd say. Because <laughs> I was going for a different audition. Well, I was taking my sister for an audition, and she looked at me and she said, yeah. You hold up, hold act. up. I feel and like I that's like, a story. No. <laughs> I feel like that's a story you should share. Where yeah. were you going? What audition were you taking your sister for? My sister used to, um, she used to act in plays mm -hmm. back in high school. And so she had some background. And so 
I was doing nothing in the house. She was like, let's go. I'm like, okay, let me just take you. And I get there, and Mona looks at me, and she says, you know what, I think you should act. And I told her, uh... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Like, she just looked funny. at you. Yeah. We knew each other from before, but oh, okay. I'd never acted before. She knew me as a dancer. So I used to perform in church. It's a long story. It's a long, long, <laughs> long, long story. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think she just saw something in me that I wasn't willing to see myself. And um, I got the lead role. I was very shocked. <laughs> oh, for sure you did not go to audition for a film. Right. Yeah. In fact, we really fought because um, my sister is the one who said, I'm not leaving until you try. And I'm not driving. And we're in a bush. So I was like, okay, I guess I have to try. And that was and your that, first time on stage? That was my first time. Wait, you got on stage during the audition. Like, this wasn't something you ever envisioned. You never thought about Not it. Not at all. I knew I wanted to be in entertainment because I know I'm a very artsy and creative person. But I didn't think that acting is something that I would find myself in at all. That is right. Was your sister salty? Was, no, was she not happy at for all. You? In fact, she's I more of a corporate it. girl. She's, she wouldn't have had the time, turns oh, out. Yeah, oh. she wouldn't have had the oh, time. Oh, eventually now. Yeah, yeah. She played my sister in the film, though, which is interesting. She was playing <laughs> your sister's role in the, in the actual film at the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, ish. Yeah. Ish. No, I, w I would have been like, so I came. And then they they hired you, she and it was, was happy. just it was just by you know she was like I feel like you could do this yeah she was so as you well. used to dance I used to dance in church yeah I used to choreograph quite a bit like the lead cho choreographer yeah yeah so you were those guys who <laughs> <laughs> ah plus the you, waves yeah you know, oh yeah the slide <laughs> <laughs> we're doing all of them oh my goodness and yeah. so did you ever consider continuing a bit with the dance even after getting into film. No, I still want to. Okay. I still want to, but I tend to shy away from it for some reason. What about musicals? Have you done any musicals? I did one. <laughs> one and I one never like paid. So I moved on. It's <laughs> like anyway. Cinema and Gumu. Theater. I feel like <laughs> people don't see that side. No. So Osoro um, and my producer Ndenga and my you know, one of my colleagues called Quat mm -hmm. um, do a lot of plays. They have a play coming up on the twenty ninth. We're gonna I'll show you the poster later on, but it's not easy to make it into in the industry. It's not. It's For not. people who want to join in, is there anything they can do or is it just the, the process that comes with the career? It's a process. It's a lot of resilience. It's a lot of asking yourself why you're getting into it. I think for me that is really essential because then there's a lot of drama and stuff that comes with it there's a lot of hardship there's a lot of late nights <laughs> early mornings <laughs> um you're giving everything that you have emotionally you know mentally yeah mentally physically yeah yeah so you have to ask yourself why if you're doing it for the fame or the money uh you'll get burnt out really fast because it takes a long, <laughs> yeah. long time what's what's the lowest you've ever been paid for a role and how long was this one you seriously want me for? to just on, tell them now. now you're in hollywood they can know <laughs> they can they, they could know oh. so there was one you did for free there's Clearly. several there's several there roles. there were a number the and number we, and so what about transport do they pay for transport do they pay for food no no it depends on the production you're on i mean now you can get that for yeah. sure depending but before, on where you are. <laughs> this was a rumor you just get there and they give you high fives they're like good job movie yeah. you nailed like, it we have, we're gonna give you great exposure <laughs> yeah we're gonna pay you with this exposure you know but what was the lowest you ever paid for for any role or any gig people don't need to know that what role it was or what show it was <laughs> i wouldn't say yeah because i'm just going to be enjoying other people's series by so it was just that. that bad it was um it was 35k actually a month oh that's not girl no. oh you're working six days a week you can't do anything else it's just Keep that in mind yeah yeah because it seems like it's it was not a lot yeah, I can't imagine. You're trying to make it sound as if it because I'm like, you know, it would be like 14 you hours. You could be paid like 500 bob or just oh, a price. Well, that, well, no. Oh, this is a bit, no, they're not there? No. Okay, I mean, those so are like day different. rates, depending yeah. on your role as oh, well. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, that makes so sense. It's a very, yeah, it's a tricky. It's different. Mm. Does it make it challenging to date an actress because of how much work that goes into working on these productions? Especially now that you're joining the international scene, mm. which you already had before, just now that it's on a bigger scale, mm. it takes months at a time. Someone has to understand that you can't reach me for six, seven months. <laughs> 
but I love you. But I really do. I won't start making out with some guy <laughs> because it's the seat, but I... I <laughs> it is. I, I think you. it takes a very secure person to be with an actor. Well, an artist in general, because we're very expressive. And we really put ourselves out there and we're very vulnerable. Um, so you have to be careful of the person that you choose. Imagine, it's yeah. so true. Yeah. Have you ever you had would, to play? You would know. I mean, you're an artist. Yeah, so. but I don't act. You know, acting is so different. Like when I see, I remember there was a time, so this was the debate. I think Kerry Washington had just started acting in Scandal. Yeah. And then I think like a year or two years in, she got married. And she was like, you know, in the, in the show, she had this affair with the president mm -hmm. on the show and it was mm -hmm. really steamy and passionate yeah. and guys kept asking so this whole time there was a guy behind the scenes who was <laughs> like I love this woman <laughs> and I am I'm going to marry her and it's so tricky because like you said you have to be you have to be so secure but is that something that's ever been an issue for you no, I'd rather have a discussion ahead of time, okay. <laughs> like date one, in fact, let's just get it out of the way and move on. Because if you do have an issue, we're going to have an issue. Yeah, yeah, because I'm not stopping. I'm not. Sorry. I'm not. It's not personal. It's, it's not, because, it's you know, bag. it can build so much resentment if you decide to, to switch because of, of one someone. particular person. Actually, now you become an accountant. <laughs> Because. I mean, if you love accounting, <laughs> then because, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, you were on Sense8 as well, mm -hmm. which was pretty huge, I think, with like Nick and Deda. Mm -hmm. How was it? Because I think that was the first time you had, you know, it was not a local production. Yeah, it was, it was, my it was first. pretty big. And I think that, you know, it was a show that was airing on the continent. It was African. But the team behind it was pretty, you know, they all had resumes just pretty long yeah from the directors to the producers to the casting directors yeah how was it working on a set like that um it's slightly intimidating in the beginning just because of the magnitude of it mm -hmm. and the speed at how we were shooting um and everything is so different there i mean everything is so big right and um what was tricky for me of course was also just the role that i was playing because i knew it was a really important role and I felt like I had this responsibility <laughs> towards a lot of African women, towards black women, um, given that I'm full figured, given that I was going my natural hair, given that I'm a strong character, intelligent, well to do, which Hollywood doesn't usually portray very mm. often. So it was quite a challenge, but a good one. Mm. Yeah. I like that you said it like that. There's a show right now, there's, there's been this big debate. Mm -hmm. um, it's a show called, there's a show called Selling Sunset. And so they have another show that came out called Selling Tampa. Mm. And so Selling Sunset, it, it, it's all about real estate. Yeah. So on Selling Sunset, most of the cast members are Caucasian. And yes. so they, put, they talk more about real estate. There's drama, but more about real estate. Selling yeah. Tampa though, they have black actresses, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Not actresses, because they're not acting. It's a reality show. Yeah. But they focus more on the drama. Yeah instead of what they're there to do, like yes. what their business is about. Yes. And it's so interesting that you even said that they don't portray people in the same way. Mm. Now, having traveled and gone all over the place, what do you feel is, you know, what do you think people are, or we are lacking here in this industry? Because we were farther ahead of Nigeria. You yeah. know, during the TV yeah. days, we were yeah. farther ahead. Yeah. We were farther ahead from Tanzania. And mm. so all these people used to look to us, but now we're sort of like behind. Sort of lagged. Yeah, yeah why? I think a lot of it has to do with support and consistency as well. Mm. Yeah, because um, when I got into the industry, I feel like things had just started picking up because we had to do 60% of local content on our screens. And then I feel like that sort of dwindled. I might be wrong. I it might be did, wrong. It did. It's, we don't play 60%. It's not so. <laughs> we should, though. We should. We should. We should. Yeah. So I got in at the right time, and then I took a step back. And by the time I came back, now I feel that we're starting to push forward again. Yeah, I feel like the lag's sort of gone down. Mm. <laughs> we're okay now. Like now we're, we're doing the so right much track. better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that we're understanding the importance of our own stories mm. and how much we want to watch our own stuff. Yeah. yeah. Now, The Matrix Resurrections, the, I remember yes. the first time I saw this story mm. and I was like, a Kenyan? <laughs> I was like, nah, this is just like one of those people who... Swipe the screen. No, I was like, what Kenya? <laughs> what are you talking about? And I was like, wait, we'll be mine. And I remember the first time I met you, I think we were on the set, uh, not on the set, but w it was, I think, the launch of Sugar or... I don't, I don't remember what show it was we were at the launch. It was an event. It was an event. You remember? I do remember. I, I think <laughs> it was... I'm not allowed to say the show because it's... Maybe don't say, don't say the show. Yeah, but it was, it was. It was an event. It was, right? Yes, you were with Sarah. Yes. Oh my goodness. That was like goodness. 2014. Yes, it was a 2014. While ago. I was a... 
I am so jazzy, remember? I'm like, should we just end the interview now? Uh, but there is a connection between Sense8 and you actually, you know, becoming a part of this blockbuster. Yeah. Tell us about it. Um, well, so I worked with Lana Wachowski, and the Wachowskis are the ones who created um, Sense8, as well as the Matrix trilogy, now Matrix Resurrections. So um, after my work with them, for some reason, <laughs> I will just say that my hard work somehow paid off, and um, a role came up, and they knew that I was the one to play that role. And I got the email. And I fell off my bed because I got it at like 7 in the morning because <laughs> of the time distance and all that. And said, yeah, we have a role for you and it's Elster. Wait, so like there was no one month long audition for this one? There's nothing. It was in a fact, personal yeah, like request. It was. We would be honored, Mumbi, if <sighs> you could join us <laughs> and be a part of this cast. It was surreal. Still is. Still is. Do, do you feel like you owe it to how hard you pushed yourself on Sense8? I believe that it's not just Sense8. I believe that it's a build-up of every single job that I've had, which yeah. led me to Sense8, and then mm. since Sense8, every single thing that I've done since. Mm. You know, because I believe that every job that I've done has been practiced. I see it as practice to become mm. better. Yeah. Yeah? Because I'm I always like, learning. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so funny, because when you're doing it, you don't think anyone's watching. Like, you don't think it's... You don't. You don't. Yeah. And, you know, when you're on Mali, like, you could never f have foreseen this. You're like, I mean, it's a nice dream to have, but then here you are right now, after watching you on set with Keanu Reeves, I'm I know, like, what? I know. How but was that? I, I will say that even on Mali, I always felt that this is something I want to do. I mm. want to end up in Hollywood. I was like, I, I, I envisioned that. I said, this is something, everything that I do, all the stress that we went through with every single production that I've been on, I'm like, yeah, because it's a bigger picture, mm. right? This is teaching me to, to be, be better. Yeah, so let me to Keanu, hey. <laughs> how, what, what, how was it? Was it intimidating too? You, you know what he, on, uh, um, with, with someone like Keanu, he made it so easy because he approaches and is like, hi, I'm Keanu. Like, You're like, bro. Sorry, who? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, how do you spell that? Okay, okay, sorry, got that, you. got that. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit of a bully just because I was nervous and I thought, let me just crack very many bad jokes. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully <laughs> it'll go well. Yeah. But yeah, everyone there is very down to earth, mm. made it very easy. You feel like... They made me feel like more of a star than they were, you know? Yeah. That was, it was very intimidating, but yeah. also very humbling. How long did you have to keep this to yourself? Um, I got the email in July of 2020. And you could only speak about it in like September North. of 2021 when they um, revealed the first trailer. So where were you shooting? In Berlin. In Berlin? Yeah. Look at you! Okay. It's like James Bond. So how long <laughs> were you there for? Like the, the, the month till September? Um, no, I was there for six weeks. Yeah, because I was filming Nafsi here um, right before I went to. I don't know if, I'm sure you've heard about Nafsi. Yes, I Amazing have. film I have. that we did. The local yeah. one. Um, so I was filming that, and then we went on to. I went on to film The Matrix immediately yeah. after. Oh, wow. Like, yeah. have you woken up from, from I, that? I don't think I ever will. To be honest, <laughs> I don't think I ever will because it's been in so many stages. At yeah. first, I was so scared that I might not get my visa because of COVID and everything that was going on. Oh, no. um, there was a lockdown, no. <laughs> the embassy was not open. They yeah. opened it for me, which was amazing. Mm. Then I got there. I wasn't sure I was going to enter the country. <laughs> I mean, there's so much. There's so many little hurdles that I had to get through before we finally started filming. And yeah. then we started and I got over that. Then I came back and then I had to process it. And then... Um, it came out and then everyone else got excited and then I had to reprocess it. I was like, and get oh, right. excited. This did happen. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been working on another like production dream. right now. So for you, it was like, okay, we've moved on. I'm like doing other exactly, things right now. People exactly. take you back. Sort and of like, numb yeah. yourself. <laughs> it is a big deal. Tell me about your role real quick. What was your role? What, what did you have to do to prepare for it? Um, you know what? Honestly, I was just gangster the entire time time because there wasn't really much that I could do to prepare for it because I've never been on a sci-fi film right <laughs> so it's really just hoping that the director is going to lead me in the right direction and of course she always does um, that's Lana for you so it's a lot of self-trust and self-belief I feel like there's a lot of internal work that I had to do so by the time I get there I can trust my skills and my practice and everything that I've been doing and it will show um, so my character is called Elster she's a medic 
that's the best that I can give you for oh, now because okay. I still so, want people to watch it. Yeah, right, so some still people can still watch it, right? Yeah. Where is it screening right now? It's at Westgate. It's at Prestige. It's at Anger. Mm -hmm. Every single cinema in Nairobi. Yeah. yeah. Please and do Kisumo. go watch it. And Please do go that. watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to buy a couple of tickets. DM me. Let me buy a couple of tickets so that hey. we can go and watch it together because hey. I am extremely proud of you. And I was telling Thank you right you. before, again, the interview began. I was like, I don't think people understand just how difficult it is for you to to break into, you know, a market as huge as Hollywood. So for you yeah. to, to be able to catch the director's eye and she's like, I will remember Moonbe Mina. Yeah. I will make sure that I, you know, I, I get her on another film that I'm, I'm going to be directing very soon. And this yeah. is this is pretty huge. What do you tell any young actress who's watching right now? And she's just trying, man. She's in the hood. She's like yeah. Nimejaribu, Nimejaribu. Yeah. It's just not working out. What do you What do you tell them? Just patience, you know, and trusting yourself through the process. You know, not comparing yourself to other people. <laughs> Believing in your own work. Yeah, um, I think that those are really important things because then you stop thinking about other people and other things and pressure, all this pressure that comes with you have to succeed in a specific time. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's yeah. a lie. Do you. Do the best that you can every time and you're only as good as your last job as well. Yeah, yeah. that is very true. I think it premiered on the 22nd of... December. December. Yeah. Please make sure that you go and you watch it. And as she said, let's stop that thing where you compare yourself. And no, especially when you hit 30, there's always this like big thing you think time. you're going to achieve and then you don't and you're like, I am a failure. <laughs> I am doing life wrong. Yeah. But it's a really big deal. Mumbi, well done. Congratulations. I cannot wait to see what 2022 has in store. I would have asked you, but I know she cannot talk. NDS, left, right, and center until they are actually released. So I know she can't speak on it. I know right now you're working on a project. I, um, are you working concurrently on a number of them? I, um, well, yes. Okay. <laughs> so I, I could um, guess. Well, they're I coming. Guess. I mean, February, April, you'll hear some really big things. Yeah. I, I really want to divulge so much, but I can't. You can't. But it's local. I know what it feels good. Yeah. It feels good to tell our own stories. Yeah. It's Do nothing you. like it. Very yeah. true. At home. Yes, at home. Yeah. We tell our own stories. Yes. Well, welcome back home. Thank you. Elsta. <laughs> uh, but some of you know her as Mumbi, but she hey. looks beautiful. She's beautiful inside and out. If you're a young actress, if you could just talk to her for a couple of minutes, I feel like you could just, she'll be dropping gems and you can catch a few of them because it's very hard for you to get someone who's been on a huge international stage like that, that you have access to. So if you can, please try and talk to her, catch her on social media. It's at Mumbi underscore Maina, right? Yes. On Instagram. Yeah, yes, I good. follow you. <laughs> I'm a stan. I'm a stalker. Hey. I know who's a stalker. Though. Osoro is actually a, a stalker. He was coming tonight for the show and he heard that Mumbi Mine is coming and he came through and I was like, Sodo, you're Amina. embarrassing. Amina, <laughs> Mumbi Yamono, Mumbi Yamono, Kabisa, Amina, even from our conversation squad DM, I've been sending you pictures of Mumbi Maina, Niki Kwambia, DM, that has always Ati been DM. my, DM, 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 <laughs> <laughs> see DM? <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, but I mean, I uh, you know, you know very well from the bottom of my, of my heart, I admire I her work. Yes, and um, I also went ahead and did my research, Amina. Okay. That Mumbi means, what does Mumbi mean? Uh, yeah. Mumbi means unique, beautiful, <laughs> wise, standing out, distinctive, 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 Amina. And so different from what has been heard or seen before. Is that true? And what does it mean in oh, Kikuyu? You <laughs> it means she who shapes. Amina Mumbi has shaped my life. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, so can you just read feedback? Wow. Amina, <laughs> you realize there's a difference between the interviews we've been doing and what uh, Mumbi just did, Amina. All the time, I, I noticed after a minute, Kasmail Kanarushua. What's your role? Uh, what's the role you're playing? I'm a medic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the smiling? Naka smile, naka fringe. Naka smile. If you have a nice smile. What's funny about Nas? Kudunga dunga watu. Also, no good comments. Yeah, you see? No, I mean, I'm, I'm giving my, 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 my remarks. But anyway, I mean, uh, tuko na huyu at Wangoi saying, I really want to make it like her. She is where I want to be as an upcoming actress. I feel inspired by Mumbi. Inshallah. Mumbi ya mono kapisa. Mumbi ya mono. Alafu tuko na huyu at uh, Joe. Anasema put in the work and don't lose that dream. Tunasema mumbi ya mono kapisa. Mumbi ya mono. And of course tuko na hawa. People are losing focus. Amina tunongalea mumbi maina. Na ya anasema Amina looking hot. 
hot. <laughs> Attitude from abroad, thank Tuned you. Tuned from abroad. <laughs> <laughs> Na mecheka abroad yake because I, I lost a steamer the last two days, so I'm a Jew. It's a lie. It's yes, a lie. and of course we have again Joe saying, <clears throat> "Mumbi Maina, I loved her in Sense Eight. Oh, True talent, oh. love her outfit, beautiful. And I'm sorry, yeah. Mumbi, I didn't say it. Kabla ya huyu, I love your outfit. That's why I'm in Tanzania. But it's okay. House of Rumor. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, tu kona pale kwenye hashtag meme challenge we have at John Arojo anasema former na kichagua vijana wakazi na mjengo ni kidogo. That's the reaction kwenye laini. Mbi ya moono kabisa, that's wangoi. Uyu ni anasema, uyu ni at Kevo the one anasema vile comrades hupanga laini wakingoja hug. Ya mumbi maina, mbi ya moono kabisa. The trend ni sa... Another one. Let's take a break. The trend ni sa fi kama migu ya amina. No, masana mbi ya moono amina. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. <laughs> yeah, that's that's enough. That's enough. Thank you so much, Mumbi. I didn't even thank know that's you. how the shot looked like. <laughs> anyway, but thank you so much, Mumbi, for coming through. I really appreciate it. I wish you all the best with thank everything you. that you've got lined up. Thank you are destined for greatness. Here is to you winning that Oscar, hey, right? Let's this is go. you making it, girl. All right, so we're about to take a short break. When we come back, it's all about fashion. All right, so Kimathi is in the building. We're talking all about Jamhuri wear. Do not touch that dial more.